New at 11, they are being called the best and the brightest. And tonight, 60 students from the UNLV School of Medicine are one step closer to fulfilling their dreams. And it all starts with a white coat. News 3's Denise Rosh joins us live where an important ceremony was held tonight in front of family and friends there at UNLV. Yeah, Marie, the white coat ceremony is a rite of passage for medical students and certainly to be their studies that will prepare their mind. But tonight, the UNLV class of 2022 is at least looking the part of doctors. Jessica Hill. Jessica's from Las Vegas. Just super exciting. You know, we waited like our whole lives to do this. Medical student Jessica Hill says her goal at this ceremony, not trip on stage. Here inside Artemis Ham Hall, an event that felt more like a graduation than a beginning. Hill and her classmates all receiving their first white coat. 60 students, already a close-knit group. The more I meet with the class, I know it's exactly where I should be. This is just the second class for the UNLV School of Medicine, and the students have already spent the past six weeks on EMT training, riding on ambulances, learning the front lines of medicine. A diverse group with one thing in common, they're all from Southern Nevada or have close ties to it. They were selected from over a, a thousand students in so, and they're the best. Founding Dean Barbara Atkinson says while there is no scheduled groundbreaking yet for the school's new building, progress is being made. The project one of our uh, two projects that we have for the medical education building, this first one is for the library that goes with it for all the health sciences, was just discussed today at the Board of Regents. And, um, so we're moving ahead on that. And she says donors helped ensure every student on stage received either a full or partial scholarship, helping these future doctors stay out of debt. It's a nice ceremony, but really the white coat just means that you made it. It's also about my family and how much sacrifices that they've given for me to be here today. A time to celebrate before the real work begins. They made it to medical school. What happens next is all up to them. And the hope, of course, is that most of these students will stay right here in the valley and help out with our doctor shortage after they graduate. Unfortunately, our state's still ranking towards the bottom of that list. Reporting live, I'm Denise Rosh for News 3. Let's go back to you guys in the studio. And Denise, we all wish them the best. Thank you.